In this video, I will be showing you the differences between token-based authentication and session-based authentication. So firstly, what is token-based authentication? It is a method of user authentication commonly used in web applications and APIs. It mainly uses tokens to verify a user identity and grant access to protected resources. While session-based authentication is a common approach used in web applications to manage and authenticate user sessions using something called cookie, it evolved the use of server-side sessions to keep track of a user authentication status and associate data as they interact with the application. So here we know that one uses cookie and another one uses token, mainly JSON Web Token, or we call it JWT. Both methods are mechanism for handling user authentication and maintaining session state in any applications. But they operate in different ways and have distinct use cases. Let's compare JWTs and Cookie in terms of their characteristics and use cases. Firstly, JWT is commonly used for authentication and authorization for any application. The verification of JWT does not require any communication between the servers and databases. Because of its relatively small size, a JWT can be sent through a URL, through a post parameter, or inside an HTTP header, and it is transmitted quickly. A JWT contains all the required information about an entity to avoid querying a database more than once. The recipients of a JWT also does not need to call a server to validate the token. In other words, the authentication can be stateless. On the other hand, for Cookie, the server has to store and maintain session data of each user and validate the session to check if the user is still authenticated for each subsequent request. This makes a hazel for session cookie to scale horizontally as application grows. Furthermore, cookies are always stored on the client side, usually in the browser cookie storage, while JWT store on the client side as well, usually in the local storage for web application. However, you will often hear people advise strongly against storing JWT in local storage. This is because using local storage makes JWT vulnerable to XSS attack. XSS attack, also known as cross-site scripting attack. For context, the web storage, such as local storage, is accessible through JavaScript on the same domain. Attacker can easily inject JavaScript through form inputs to retrieve your JWT tokens. By getting your JWT token, attacker can easily validate as you and make requests to the application server. On the other hand, cookies are vulnerable to CSRF attack. CSRF, also known as cross-site request forgery attack. As browser automatically send cookies with all requests, CSRF attacks make use of these to gain authenticated access to a trusted site. In summary, JWT and cookies serve different purposes and have their own strengths and weaknesses. JWTs are typically used for authentication and are stateless, while cookies are primarily used for session management and maintaining state. The choice between JWT and cookies depends on the specific requirements and security consideration of your application. In some cases, a combination of both may be used to achieve the desired functionality. So this is all about the comparison between token-based and session-based authentication. Let us know what do you think about these two authentication mechanisms in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.